Hey, Keith Lockhart here, Director of Training for Oxygen Forensics. So if you're watching this video, you've received your mobile extraction kit. Now, I gotta say, it's 2021. Um, <laughs> that's pretty much all I can say about that. But I wanna say thank you for going on this adventure with us because we just kinda got sick of not being able to do things together. There have been pulls taken, marketing gets a hold of me, they say everybody wants extraction training, and I'm just, the answer, if we can't get back to a classroom, well, I just don't care anymore. So from the ideas of people in-house, let's box up some kits and ship them out to you. So here's what we got. Let's go ahead and do a traditional unboxing of this so you know what you have and know what we can expect for the next few days. Your shipping material may vary a little bit, but that's just shipping. Let's see if I turn this around. Let's turn this upside down or right side up. Here we go. I'm going to open it up. And I'll just tell you, everything in Extractor, is our, our goal is to do every one of those links. Um, the ones in blue, well, they're all in blue, but the ones in blue boxes, um, we'll do probably the instructor demoing for you. But the ones in red, we're going to do together. That's the contents of the box. And there's important reasons why. Let's talk about that. Okay, so if I get in the box, the first thing we'll see is an on-the-go device, an OTG device. So we'll use these. Uh, with the oxy agent as well as uh, check rain operation making a bootable uh, Linux USB just in case we're in that spot and we need it um, but we should have an on-the-go in our box here I'll set that to the side uh, we have what we'll call our new space saving cable only because it is a magnetic tip and the tri-tip combination of lightning um, iOS or iDevice, um, USB-C and micro USB. So instead of shipping out a bunch of cables, we can ship out one. Kind of looks like this one's lit up and, you know, off comes a tip. I can just go grab another one. Oh, there's lightning and there's USB-C. So we're just trying to save some room there. Uh, also an SD card reader and an SD card. So obviously we have the memory card option as a, an extraction option and the reader or the card itself can also be used in the OTG device when we do that. I'll set that off to the side. Um, some tweezers. So the electronic uh, super fine tip tweezers. We are going to tear apart a phone and get inside it and perform a test point operation. So we'll need those. I'll go ahead and set those off to the side. A SIM card reader. So if I get in the SIM card package here, there's an ACS reader with a little slot you can pull out to get your SIM card in and out, as well as the SIM card remover pin, and I'll show you how that works in just a second when we get a phone out. Uh, flip phone. This is an Alcatel Smart Flip by Cricut in this case. There's probably some other ones in the boxes that go out the door. But this is one of your $30 burner phones from Walmart that is, you know, or the drugstore that is Kai OS. Um, there's no contracts, so they're super popular with the criminal element. But the cool thing is they had to support LTE bandwidth, so they have Qualcomm chips, which means we can put them in EDL mode and get a physical. So we'll do that together. You should have an iPhone in here, probably an iPhone 6, which is handy because we will be able to accomplish all the iOS extractions when the extractor with this, including an iTunes backup, an encrypted iTunes backup, um, exploiting the phone with CheckRain to get a full file system and keychain extraction, as well as a regular logical file structure. You should have a Samsung in here, probably a 7 or 8, and uh, this will be super necessary and cool for the Exynos extraction. And the reason that one's so important is because the Exynos extraction allows us to brute force in line with the process, a secure startup password. And that's super important because you don't have to send it away for help. And that always gets me excited if I can save somebody that opportunity. And then a Huawei should be in here, um, probably with rubber band. Well, hopefully with rubber bands around it, because we're going to take that apart and do that test point operation. Um, and the idea is they've already been taken apart for you to the point where you don't have to do a bunch of the unscrewing of the tiny screws and, and all that stuff. So if I just kind of look in here, Yep, we're going to get in a phone, and we're going to tweeze some points together to make things work the way we want. So that's that. Oh, plus um, most phones somewhere on them have the tiny SIM card uh, popper, and that's what that little pin does for us. All right, just so we know we have that. And that is the component selection of the box that you should have gotten in the mail. 
listen, really glad you're on this adventure. Um, it's a lot more fun than just watching the camera view when you can plug a phone in yourself. Hopefully I can see all your machines the way I need to, or we as an instructor crew can team view to see your machines or see if there's a problem. But let's get busy. Let's have a good few days and let's get hands on. Okay, see you in class. Thank you.